Right then, here's the hill fort. Most of the time I go around that way. That's not the very top, but that's quite close to the top up there are some people sitting. I've just come up from down there, a nice gentle climb up that way, out of the sun. You can see all evidence of the hill fort, all the various vallums, I think they call it, vellums, vallums. These like ditch-like areas, and then another bank of uh, fortification. Um, I don't think I've walked it this way, I think I've come the other way. Um, you do sometimes get cows in here. So I'm walking this way, I'm doing a little video for a change. Um, with the new, with the new camera. So this is Sheila. It's the very last day of August today, 2018. Um, the day it was announced that Princess Diana, Lady Diana, was killed in a car crash. With lots of conspiracy theories emerging since. Um, I remember that very well because I was um, working as a nurse at night that night. And obviously we were uh, alert, you know. And I was on a break, but somebody just resting, you know, having my something to eat. And somebody came in and said, you know, Sheila, Lady Diana's been, or Princess Diana, whatever she was called then, has been involved in a crash. So I'm just putting that, I'm including that in this reflective video because sometimes when I go back over a video, it's nice to know what was going on as well at the time. I mean, last week Rita Franklin died, by the way. I forgot to mention that the other day. A famous soul singer. The Queen of Soul. She, she, she had her funeral. And John McCann, the Republican who ran for president, he's um, lying in state. I think he might be lying in state in Washington. So it's just a little bit of news, little snippets of news to add to the video. So that when I play them back, it can be a reminder of what was happening as well. So anyway, I have looked it all up before now about the fort and everything and 500 BC, that is a, that sounds a long time now. 500 BC. It's not really a long time, not really in geological time, but um, that's when the this was constructed apparently. I don't know how they know that, but um, they seem to know a lot. Now I'm hoping I can get right the way around. If not, I'll, just, I'll nip through that wood up there. I know it can get a bit overgrown. Um, I think there's some sheep about. I haven't seen any cows. There's a, like a little place where a shepherd might make a little shelter for sheep. You see little features like that around. Now some people, so the history people like doing that, but apparently some of the geologists and archaeologists don't like people fiddling with the stones. But I think we're not doing any harm by when you bring a group of children out, you can point out a few features what it would have been like. But there are, you can get them for criminal damage, believe it or not. And here where I live, they've got a wood there with an Iron Age fort. And yeah, they, they make it known that you can get a thousand pound fine if you interfere with the stones and everything. I mean, some people spell out names of someone who's just died or something like that. I, mean, I don't think the ancients would mind that, you know. Right, I've brought no windshield and no umbrella. They've said it's going to be dry. So here we are, we've got a boundary of woodland all the way around as well. Like I said, on, if you go online you can you can find out more about the uh, the fort, but it is very well defined. It's, one, it's a good one, this one.
I mentioned it to some people in my family the other day. They've never been here. But you see, it took me 60 years to get here. Because, you know, people don't usually venture out. When I was a kid, we, no one had a car, really. And no one really ventured anywhere. Apart from the Quantox. Yeah, we might have to do a bit of negotiating here. See how it's got a bit overgrown. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. I'm not sure if I can get through that or not. Might be able to squeeze through. I mean, might be able to duck and dive there, I think. You never know what's going to land on you, though. I might go round. I might go round. Right, over and out for a minute. Oh, right, that's quite a nice view. I'm still walking around the ramparts of the Robero Hill Fort. There's um, Crook's Peak in the distance and the Mendips over that way. There was a good view of um, Western Supermare a minute ago that I took. Here's another one of those little um, sheep shields, like one where the sheep can gather. Of course, you can imagine that these hollows where the, where the um, trees are and all down here, people would shelter as well. There's probably a walk from somewhere, from some village rather, down through there. Pretty good view from here. Look. It's good to do this because, like I said, normally when I get up on the hill for itself, there's always lots of people about. Or even if it's only one person, you still can't video. You can take photos, but <sighs> looks like we're going to be alright to get round. Yeah, this is a much gentler walk up. I tell you, you wouldn't believe it. The difference coming this way, really. To how steep it is if you go the other side of these trees and literally go right up it. That is quite a feat. I think keep expecting to find spearheads and things like that. No, you don't really find any. I've picked up a a bit of stone here, which looks like it might have had plaster on it once. See? That could be a bit of Roman. They could have been out here. I don't know whether the Victorians brought any rocks or anything out here, though. I don't know. To reinforce it or anything, I'm not sure. If this is quarried stone even. You never know, there could have been a of course it's like a dead fox or something as I'm walking along at the moment. Quite putrid smell. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, right over there's Western. I just zoom in, you can just about make out um, Steep Home in the distance there. There's Western Supermare. I had a small walk along the seafront yesterday. Yeah, it's very pretty. I'll just take a picture, turn it off for a minute. 